when priority mode is on, you'll get more rides so you can stay busy when it's slow. I don't really see myself using this when it's busy. It's a sliding scale. Like, what are you willing to sacrifice to make that dollar today? This is directly from the website. It says priority mode. Priority mode is only available for platinum and elite drivers in the following regions. So there's Chicago, Denver, New Orleans, Philadelphia, Portland, San Antonio, Austin, Minneapolis, St. Paul, Miami, Salt Lake City, Cincinnati, Buffalo, Richmond, Pittsburgh, Daytona Beach, St. Louis, Milwaukee, Columbus, Nassau County, I used to live there, Silicon Valley, Providence, Detroit, Tampa Bay, Baltimore, New Jersey, Orlando, Houston, Boston, Washington, D.C., and San Francisco. There's no Charleston there. That's my market. I'm in Charleston. When priority mode is on, you'll get more rides so you can stay busy when it's slow. With priority mode, you'll spend less time waiting between ride requests. That sounds pretty good so far. You'll receive a set number of priority mode hours each week. You can check the number of hours you have available on the priority mode details page. The number of priority mode hours available can change from week to week, depending on how busy it is in your area. To use priority mode, turn priority mode on or off by tapping priority mode at the bottom of the home screen. Priority mode works best when it's less busy. For best results, leave priority mode on instead of switching it on and off. Okay. You will get priority access to new requests as they become available. As I'm reading this, you let me know if you have access to this in your market and tell me about your experiences and whether or not this is worth it. Priority mode is only available for standard rides. You can still get ride requests for other ride types, but you won't be prioritized for these requests. I think that's that's okay. We limit how many drivers can use priority mode at the same time so that these drivers get more ride requests. If priority mode is unavailable right now, but you still have hours left, check back later. You can check which day your priority mode hours reset in the driver app. This sounds like it might be great to use during, in my market, uh, there's like a slow period after traffic ends and before lunch. So like from 9 a.m. to like 1 p.m., it can be really, really slow. This sounds like if, if you can only drive during those time periods, you can use priority mode. But I suspect that it would be more profitable to just not drive during that time and instead drive at a different time of the day. But I know not everyone has access to unlimited daily hours. You have kids, uh, schedules to work around. So but that's, that's kind of my first impression so far. Priority mode isn't available at airports. If you enter the airport queue, priority mode will turn off. That's, I think that's fair. I think one, the airport is not a great place to be in most places. The goal of priority mode is to help you stay busy with location filters turned on there are fewer rides you can be matched with, which can cause more downtime. Using certain strategies when it's busy can make you a lot of money and using those same strategies when it's slow can backfire. This is why I think that rideshare drivers need to have a, a good tool set of, of like strategies to use instead of relying on one strategy all the time. I don't think that's a great way to make money. It says priority mode is only available when you're giving a standard ride. You can still receive ride requests without priority mode for other ride types, but you won't be prioritized for these requests. I think that's good. So that means if you have an XL, but you turn priority mode on, you can still receive XL requests and still be prioritized for standard requests. That can backfire if it's not busy because you don't want to get prioritized for standard requests when the possibility of an XL request might pop up. So if it's busy enough that XL requests are popping up, but you put on priority mode and they make you a priority for standard rides, that means you'll have access to more standard rides uh, if, if, than if you just didn't use that feature, which would make you more likely to get an XL ride. That might decrease your door-to-door -door earnings per hour, but it might increase your active time hours if you were to get those XL rides instead. So here's some stats on earning in priority mode. Most drivers earn 15% more in priority mode. When you use prior priority mode, you'll make slightly less per ride, but you'll have more opportunities to earn. So yeah, so it's kind of reflective of what I just said. You're, you'll stay more busy, which will increase your door to door time, right? Or your online time, how much rides you're taking to your online time, but it's going to decrease how much money you're making for your active time potentially. So it's, it's a, it's a sliding scale is what it seems like. And it can be really dangerous if you're using this incorrectly is, is what I'm kind of inching towards like it needs to be really slow you probably want to use this during the winter months i'm not i don't even think you'd want to use this every week or every day when you're in priority mode you'll be able to see the amount you'll earn for a ride before you accept it in regions that use a rate card your rate card will be lower in priority mode however when you use priority mode you'll have more opportunities to earn overall you can check priority mode rates in the driver app at any time so i guess a good way to summarize this will be 
if it's really slow and you're not getting any rides, like you're out there for four hours and for those four hours, you didn't get any rides. It would still be better if you, if you're desperate for money to use priority mode so you can get rides during that four hours, but it, you're going to have a negative impact on your earnings per mile. Even if you don't make money in four hours, at least you're not, you know, wasting your car miles, you know, cause that, you know, that adds up over time. So it's a sliding scale. Like what are you willing to sacrifice to make that dollar today? And honestly, right now reading it, it feels kind of slimy. I would really, for example, in my market, I have a tourist market with college students. During the winter, uh, the tourists don't come here. And at some point in the winter, the students leave and it can get really slow. Like I'd probably only use priority mode during the slow periods of the slow times during a slow season. I don't really see myself using this when it's busy. I feel like this is not that great. Like it's cool that it's an option, but this used incorrectly can be more harmful than supportive. So when you drive one hour or more in priority mode per day, you'll be able to see how much more you earned in priority mode compared to nearby drivers during a similar time frame who didn't use priority mode. So that's cool to give me that information up front. I wish I had access to this so that I can kind of prove what I'm saying, you know, test what I'm saying so I can give you guys better information. But anyone who's used this, if you've had a time where you've made less money than those around you, share that with me. Or if you had a time where you made more money, share that with me. I want to hear about your experiences. Uh, to find this information, you go to your driver app, you open up your earnings tab, and you can see your total earnings under your priority mode summary. Let me see if I can find that right now. See if we can find it on Reddit. It says yesterday you made an estimated $1.76 more with priority mode, excluding tips and bonuses. Uh, with priority mode, this person made $75.20. Uh, without, he would have made 70. <laughs> he would have made $73.44. This post is, uh, the title is satire <laughs> priority mode for the win. <laughs> so let's, let's finish out what they're saying here. Um, I've, I've pretty much kind of decided how I feel. It says in the rare case, you don't earn more. Your earnings will be adjusted to match what you would have earned for yesterday's rise. If you weren't in priority mode, that's, that's big. I think that's acceptable. You'll be eligible for an adjustment any day that you've driven at least one hour in priority mode. Okay. I. Stand by the idea that you should not be using this unless it's really slow. And I guess you would have to have a really good grasp on your market. I do respect that they show you what you would have made instead, but you know, their calculations and expectations are different from my calculations and expectations, but it is nice that they will pay you the difference. So I, I wish I had this discussion a couple months ago so that you guys could test this, but you guys probably shouldn't test this because uh, it should be getting busier. Maybe if you have like a really down week, you don't know what's going on. Maybe spring break, the kids aren't going to school and it's slow. Maybe that will be a good time to test it, but I obviously can't test it. And I'm going to see what you guys are saying in the comments. The driven dad says priority mode sucks because it only works with lift basic enable. So if you do only comfort and hire, you have to drop down from what I read. I could be wrong. It's, it made it seem as if you still have access to those rides, but they might, you might get standard rides more often than those rides just because you're in priority mode. That's kind of what I took from it. I could be wrong here. Um, but I wouldn't want to sacrifice those rides for standard rides. If I had a car that was eligible to take those kinds of rides, Chuck driver says, I wouldn't recommend using priority mode outside of trying to complete a high volume ride challenge and make sure to pair it with area filter around a medium large city. Cool that you can do both. That's pretty cool. I'm doing some thinking priority mode gives you access to more rides. Those rides would be shorter if you use the area filter. It would give you a larger volume of rides. Okay, that's that's pretty good. I like I like nuanced strategies where they're only great for specific use cases. And I think that um, of course I haven't tried it, but I think that's something I'd be interested in, especially since I can only take normal rides anyway. So if I can turn priority mode and it gives me access to more rides and I don't care about the dollar amount per ride because I'm trying to hit ride challenges, yes, that is actually an excellent strategy. So that Thank you for pointing that out. That's actually pretty 